Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Busby Air Warriors Ultra Tech Sidewinder. box looks like when you purchase it I actually got it from Walmart for $19.97. The Sidewinder comes with everything you see here the blaster, the drum, 30 suction cup darts green and gray and the two clips in order to hold the drum in place. Alright to put the Sidewinder together it's quite simple if you'll notice there are four prongs on the bottom of the clip there are four prongs in this little hole here and that's where you're gonna end up snapping those into so take your blaster lay it down like such fat the barrel facing one way or the other it doesn't matter Take your drum with your 30 darts, put the darts facing the direction of the barrel. In the center here, there's a circle and a circle here. You're going to insert one end here and one end in the back. Just pick up the whole drum like such, slide it in between, and push down to snap in place. You are ready for a 30 round assault. <laughs> Side-by-side -side comparison with the Roto Fury, and as you can see, it's just a tad bit bigger. All right, guys, we got a fully loaded side one. We're going to take some shots to see how this thing performs. So, let's go. Okay, just so you guys know, this trigger absolutely serves no purpose whatsoever. Everything is fired by using the priming handle. So now let's do some rapid fire. Nice, I gotta say, I kinda like it. These things blast, man. And one thing I'd like to add, I did wanna test this um, using um, regular Elite darts and Nerf brand darts, but the hole where the dart actually sits on is pretty wide. You can see the gray hole on the bottom as opposed to the blue hole is much bigger. So the minute you try to stick an elite dart in here it ends up deforming the end and you really can't get them to stay in there very well. So with this blaster in particular I would stick with the green and the, gr uh, the gray and the green suction cup darts that come with the blaster. All right everybody let's give you my overall opinion on the Sidewinder. I gotta tell you right now that there's three areas that this blaster stands out. Cost, firepower and ease of use. The cost for $19 for a 30 round drum slam fire feature is just pretty good in my opinion. Uh, the easy use, I mean every time you pull back on the priming mechanism, a dart is launched. There is no trigger, it's just for show down here. Uh, that's pretty cool. And as far as easy use goes, you can also remove the barrel at any time you want to help with reload or you can just spin it as you keep reloading. So two different ways you can do it, very easy. Also has a nice little jam door removal here. I didn't have a jam at all and I fired this thing a lot today. Firepower, 30 rounds downrange rather quickly and the power was there, so at least I think so. Um, so I'm very pleased with this in those three categories. Now customization, that's a whole nother different story. Besides having a jam door and a handle, that's about all you get with this blaster. Um, it's very low for me, so I'll give it a one. And aesthetics, most of the Busby blasters, in my opinion, are pretty lacking as far as, um, you know, really cool looking details as far as like if you compare them to Nerf blasters. But performance is there and the price is right. So I would definitely, definitely recommend you getting this. The one fault I will say in this, as opposed to some of the other blasters is, you can use Nerf magazines and darts on other blasters. With this one in particular, though, I don't think you can. Um, I showed you guys the pictures of the insides of these barrels, and I really think that's going to damage more of your darts than it's worth. But having said that, I would rank this as a 3.8 out of 5 uh, on a star rating, and I would definitely say pick this up. Overall, it's never going to really cost you a lot of money. You're not buying batteries or anything else, so I would definitely say go ahead and pick one of these up. Well, Alright everybody, that concludes my review of the Sidewinder. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a, a thumbs up below. And if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, and if you liked what you saw, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, alright? It's free. You'll never miss a video.